Hey everyone, it's Sarah, and today I am back with a video that, oh my goodness, well, number one, it's a video I've already filmed before, but this is a video that I should have refilmed like nine, maybe even a year ago, probably a year ago now. Um, so what we're going to be talking about today, it's a little house called Velvet and Sweet Peas. Um, it's a lady out of California. I came across this house on Fragrantica. She won something, an award on, or she won like a, something on Fragrantica for like the best, I can't remember exactly what it was, but it was one of these fragrances was like for the best, the best fragrance. Um, maybe like the best independent fragrance. I can't totally remember. It's been such a long time. But anyways, I ordered these probably a year ago and I made a video and there are so many different fragrances here that it was a long video and somehow I lost the video and I've been meaning to re-film it for months and months and I just, I don't know why I haven't. But anyways, so I haven't even had my nose on any of these for the longest time but I do wanna go through and just share them with you because they're amazing. Um, she sent, I ordered, I ordered this set here. This is a discovery set and these are all of her signature scents. This is one of those houses that all of the materials that she uses are like really, really high quality. Like the vanilla that she uses aged like 20 years or something. I mean, it's stuff like that. It's definitely got a really beautiful vintage spin on everything. Everything smells a little bit vintage and yeah, they're just amazing. So I ordered this set here and then she sent along, um, this is the Kitty Licious set, which is so fun. And then she sent these because that was the newest fragrance at the time. It's called Pangolin Violet Rose. Um, and what's neat is I think that she donates a portion towards like rescuing endangered animals, I think. Um, I'm going off of memory from like all of the things that I read like a year ago, so, but I'm pretty sure. I think that that's why this one is called Pangolin Violet Rose because Let's see here. Yeah, a portion of sales from this per perfume will go to the Pangolin Crisis Fund, an organization fighting to reduce demand for pangolins around the world. So yeah, um, I do just wanna show you like, I just wanna give you like a feel for the house before we, we start talking about the fragrances, but you can just see the kind of artwork. I mean, how adorable is that with the kitties? Look at these bottles of fragrance. I mean, how absolutely stunning is that? So yeah, um, and you can see, this is just like a little information card that talks a little bit about the house. Um, I did, like I ordered the signature discovery kit myself with my own money. I'm not affiliated in any way. Um, I just ordered them as a customer and um, yeah, so this is these are purely just my opinions and um, my experience with the house. Um, let's see here. So it says that Velvet and Sweet Peas Perfumery, and it's so cute the way she spells perfumery. It's P-U-R-R, fumery, like a kitty purr. Um, so Velvet, Velvet and Sweet Peas Perfumery captures the souls of flowers, herbs, leaves, and woods and blends them into magical perfumes, colognes, and bath salts that delight and inspire. Artisanal perfumer Lori Stern uses only the finest organic grape and sugarcane alcohols and jojoba oil as her base, never anything harmful like phthalates or parabens. Lori's vanilla distillations and tinctures start with a vanilla orchid bean, not a synthetic petrochemical concoction. A drop of rose is pure rose, derived from 60 incredible blooms. So um, they help animals. Laura, Lori's 2018 trip to Africa inspired her to embrace her inner conservationist and make perfumes that benefit endangered and vulnerable animals. She donates a portion of the pro proceeds from luminous lemurs, See, I think it was Luminous Lemurs that won the award on Fragrantica. And Pangolin Vi Violet Rose to organizations that build natural habitats and stop poachers. 
Um, their Kind Velvet and Sweet Peas Perfumery is certified by Leaping Bunny and always cruelty free. That means never using materials that are tested on animals. It means never using animal musks which are harvested at tremendous suffering or any other animal product, byproduct. We just use beeswax and honey from the perfumery's own bees. How fun is that? Okay, um, they're bonbons. So a gift from the perfumery is an individual and decadent bonbon made to delight from the inside out. Lori was a lingerie designer and wedding florist before she was a perfumer, so she's all about French ribbons and lace, kitty tutus, and tiaras, essentially packaging whimsy in a velvet pouch for her dear perfumery friends. Um, and you guys will see, like, you can get a solid perfume that comes in this really beautiful, ornate, like, box. Um, all of the packaging is amazing. Uh, it says they're unique. Lori makes each scented treasure in small batches, taking you back to a time long before ma mass perfume manufacturing. Her perfume organ features more than a thousand natural essences, including frankincense tears, which is the sap from the Bos Boswellia trees that grow in the Sahara Desert, and Pink Lotus Absolute, a pungent blossom that thrives in southern India. Um, they're award-winning. Okay, here we are. Uh, Fragrantica awarded Luminous Lemurs the best perfume of 2020, and Sephlor Bon put it on their 10 best list. Sephlor Bon also awarded Lori and the Perfumery the best perfumer and best natural perfume house honors. The Perfumery is a garden hideaway and natural perfumery overlooking San Francisco Bay. So you can contact her. It's just a really, it's a really neat house, you guys. I just wanted to give you a little bit of a background and a feel for it before we get going. But I am going to get going and we're going to start sniffing. Um, these, the little cards that come with them have all of the notes on them. So I will be able to. So Luminous Lemurs is, it says, inspired by the lush forests of Madagascar and the delightfully sociable lemurs who inhabit them. Luminous Lemurs op opens with a rush of blood orange and Madagascar Madagascar ylang, ylang a double delight of rich floral fruitiness. The scent evolves over time, revealing spicy narcotic carnation at its heart and hints of antique nutmeg and clove, drying down to a sublime soft bed of sandalwood and vanilla. So I remember loving this one. <sighs> yes, I remember loving this. It's so, the Ylang Ylang is definitely the star of the show here. The Ylang Ylang is very, very pungent and strong. Oh, it's so beautiful. I remember testing this one on my skin and I remember in the dry down you could smell the clove and the nutmeg. This is beautiful. I totally understand why this won an award. It's it's amazing. These are perfumes that you will never smell anywhere else. They're so unique. This one is, if you like the smell of Ylang Ylang essential oil, like just straight up Ylang Ylang essential oil, I think you would love this. If there's anybody out there looking for a really, really good Ylang Ylang based scent, I think you would love this. Oh, it is so good. It's got a brightness to it though from that blood orange in the top. So you get this beautiful bright blood orange and then the very, very strong ylang ylang. And I can't smell the cloves or the nutmeg from the dabber, but I do remember in the dry down you can smell it on your skin. Oh, it's so good. So anyways, that is the one that won best fragrance of the year in Fragrantica. That one is called Luminous Lemurs. Amazing. Okay, next we have got uh, Fleur de Caramel. This is a fragrance that I came across that I wanted to get my nose on so badly and why I ordered this entire kit. So Fleur de Caramel is, it says, sink into a sweet sensual bath of warm caramel infused with rich cognac and sultry night blooming frangipani. This indulgent perfume is one to savor slowly from its tart red mandarin and spicy butterfly lily opening to a truly scrumptious finish as the perfumery's secret caramel accord lingers on your skin. Oh my gosh, it's so good. This one has got like the most beautiful, almost green aspect to it. It's got this really fresh greenness, but oh, you get that beautiful, almost sweet frangipani and then whatever the caramel is in the base, it doesn't really smell like caramel. 
I would say it's more of like a I would say it, it's more of a like a caramel feeling it smells like it smells like the way caramel feels in a fragrance if that makes any sense but without smelling like caramel oh it's beautiful it's fresh it's not super sweet but slightly sweet it's really really rich smelling and pretty amazing so i'm gonna have to move through these quicker than i am or we're gonna be here forever um so anyways that is fleur de caramel beautiful because i've got a lot of fragrances here okay next we have got bed of roses bed of roses is a bed of a thousand rose blooms in this gorgeously voluptuous bouquet of scent Reclining on an accord of nine exceptional rose distillations from all corners of the globe, cushioned by deep aged sandalwood and rich cognac with accents of tuberose, veronia, orange blossom, and green mandarin. Bed of Roses is crowned by a canopy of precious rose leaf absolute, a rare and incomparable material from the history of perfume, seldom made today. So yeah, you can tell she just uses the most interesting materials. Oh my gosh, and you can tell. It's a rose like you're not gonna smell anywhere else. I mean, it's so fresh and it's such a rich rose. And this one, it has a little bit of booziness to it from the cognac. Oh man, it's so good. This I remember being one of my absolute favorites. It is the most beautiful, rich, warm rose. It's got, I don't really get much of the tuberose except the tuberose is adding a little bit of sweetness. I'm just getting the most beautiful, oh my gosh, fresh, kind of boozy rose. But it's definitely a rose fragrance, but it doesn't smell old fashioned. It it smells kind of vintage leaning, but it doesn't smell like an old fashioned rose. Oh my gosh, it's so good. This was one of my favorites. Um, I have barely any left in here. I really, I need to give this one really, really good wear. Um, but I know I'm just gonna love it because it's such a beautiful, warm, kind of slightly boozy rose. It's a different kind of rose. Um, it's not like anything I've ever smelled before. It's so realistic smelling. And the way that this is blended with all of the other flowers and the cognac is, oh my gosh, it's like on another level. So anyways, that one is called Bed of Roses. It's amazing. <laughs> They're all amazing. I mean, I, I all of them. Um, I think this is another one I really loved. This one is called Jewelry of Heaven. And let's see here. Jewelry of Heaven is a gorgeous homage to the classic 19th century jasmine rose bond opens the heart with, with perfumery's most timeless, most beautiful scents. Organic jasmine grandiflorum and, Turk and Turkish and Himalayan roses intertwine in a deep meditative perfume as languorously sensual as it is serene. Yeah, I remember loving this one too. I don't even know how I remember, it's been so long. I'm like ashamed of myself that it took me this long to refilm this. Oh my gosh, I love this. It is like a jasmine rose combination. I would say more rose than jasmine, but very slightly. It's definitely, these all smell like the real deal. They don't smell like anything synthetic. I mean, these are perfumes that are made like they used to be made. When we talk about the old 80s powerhouses, because, and not that these, I don't wanna equate these to 80s powerhouses. These are, these are even more timeless smelling than that, but it's perfumery like that again. It's perfumes made with such high quality materials that they just have a different smell to them completely because they're, they're just incredible. But yeah, this one, I definitely get a little bit more of the rose than the jasmine, but oh my gosh, just so beautiful. I mean, I can't, it's almost hard for me to explain them. 
because these are not like any perfumes that I talk about on the you know on a regular basis. These are these are definitely creations of their own. So, anyways, that one is called Jewelry of Heaven. Okay, next we've got Highway. And let's see, let me look up Highway. Okay, Highway, it says, is a winding road of citrus, berries, cedarwood, vanilla, and blue spruce. This sounds like another one that would be right up my alley. I definitely get the citrus. These are so concentrated smelling too. Like, they're just uh, on another level. Yeah, I definitely get the citrus, the cedar wood, the berries give it just a slight sweetness. This one's really resinous smelling and warm. Oh, it's beautiful. It's such a good one. They're all so good. I'm gonna say that about every single one of them. So anyways, that one is called Highway. I know, I let this go, like I let it, I let this go too long. Um, okay, next one is Jasmine Dawn and Dusk. And this one, is says, Jasmine, the mistress of the night, is invoked here in three forms to weave a rich narcotic spell. Night blooming, dawn blooming, and gardenia-like jasmines cast an enchantment that unfolds over time with sweet bursts of blood orange, mandarin, and ruby grapefruit. I remember really being able to smell the grapefruit in this. <sighs> yes. So this is a jasmine perfume that's got three different kinds of jasmine. Oh, and I remember that. I remember it's being like jasmine and then that beautiful tart grapefruit in the top. Which is what it is. It's almost that you almost get like the pith of the grapefruit. Like it's so tart. And then all of that beautiful jasmine. It's like, it's definitely kind of a vintage -y smelling jasmine perfume. Oh, it's beautiful. So anyways, that one is called Jasmine, Dawn, and Dusk. Next, we have got this one here. This one is called Songbird, and I absolutely, I remember loving Songbird. Okay, so Songbird is, it says, a luscious mouth-watering blend of citrus, spices, and sweet narcotic flowers sensually, un sensually unfurls towards a soft, powdery finish. Antique cinnamon, blood orange, tuberose, and Tasmanian heather are only a few of the notes in this sexy, complex melody. So I remember being able to smell the cinnamon in this. I'm such a sucker for cinnamon and perfume. I love it. Oh, yes. This was one of my favorites. In fact, I'm just going to put just a little bit on my hand. Oh, I love this one. I love it so much. So this one is really, really citrusy. You get all of the citruses and then it's got that Tasmanian heather in it, which is almost, it's not a sweet floral at all. It's almost like a dry, it's like a dry aromatic floral. And then the cinnamon, you get this warm cinnamon in the dry down. I mean, you can smell the cinnamon the entire time. I could smell it when I first applied it. I can smell it in the dry down, which is what I loved so much about this. Just because I love, I love cinnamon and perfume. It's almost like a warm, aromatic, like spiced citrus fragrance. It's amazing. It's so good. I need to revisit this website and you can get I'm not gonna lie, they are pretty pricey because you can just tell by when you smell them because of the materials that are being used, like that they're gonna be a little bit pricey, but you also don't have to apply that much at all. These are not like modern perfumes where you have to douse yourself in it to get four hours out of it. No, these are like, you can dab these on and you're gonna smell like this for the rest of the day. In fact, you probably only need a, maybe two sprays. Oh, this one is so good. So anyways, that one is called Songbird. That was one of my favorites. That one, Bed of Roses. I mean, there, there are so many that I just love. The Fleur, Fleur de Caramel, I think is what, yeah, the Fleur de Caramel. They're just so good. Okay, this one is called Forever Young, like fur is in the tree. So Forever Young, it says, find yourself in a sun-dappled forest of majestic emerald towers with this earthy scent for men and women, that combines the redolent richness of the deep woods with the mouthwatering raspberry jam juiciness of fur absolute. Real conifer absolutes and essential oils have a sweet warmth that forever young fans have declared as delectable, luscious, passionate, expansive, and even spiritual. 
a whole forest of Douglas fir, silver fir, grand fir, blue spruce, juniper, and more are joined by green and fruity florals, juicy citruses, and black currants with frankincense and agarwood for just a hint of smoke. Mm, so this is gonna be a resinous green. Yes, and I remember loving this one too. This one you would think with all of those different fur oils that it would just smell like a tree, but it doesn't. That black currant, you get the black currant immediately and it's such a familiar smell because it's used so often in perfumery. I don't know, it's comforting smelling just from that, but you get this beautiful black currant, you get all of the resinous fur notes and then, and the citruses. This one is a lot lighter than you would imagine. Oh, it's beautiful. This is... I think anybody out there that is looking for a really beautiful, like, I don't want to say tree smelling scent, but yeah, like tree smelling scent. Yeah, I think that you would love this. It's beautiful. It's light. It's warm. It's resinous and citrusy with that beautiful black currant note. It's just gorgeous. So anyways, that one is called Forever Young. Gosh, I have a whole nother set to get through after this. Okay, next we have Terrain. I remember loving this one too. Uh, terrain says is bold, spicy, and stimulating. A sweeping survey of the land's richest scent. Mexican lime invigorates this self-assured mix with wild Bulgarian geranium, frankincense, and Japanese yuzu. This one is very citrusy as well. Oh, this one is amazing. I forgot how good this one is. I'm just gonna put a little, oh my goodness, between the lime and the yuzu and the Bulgarian geranium that has a rose-like smell. It smells, geranium smells like a dusty rose to me, um, which is what I love about it. It smells very similar to a rose, but it's got this beautiful dustiness to it. So yeah, you've got this beautiful kind of dusty geranium and tons of bright citrus. Lime and yuzu, so good. It's super fresh, very refreshing, crisp smelling, just really good. So anyways, that one is called Terrain. And then the last one in this set is called Honey. And Honey is all hail to the queen bee. This regal opulent composition of French orange blossom and Moroccan and Bul Bulgarian rose roses sits on a throne of deep vetiver, Madagascar vanilla, honey, beeswax, and my bee guru's propolis. It is crowned with rare antique clove, pomegranate, and pink grapefruit. So, oh gosh, this is super, super warm. If you guys have ever been to like a gift shop that has like beeswax products, maybe beeswax candles, but they've also got maybe spices in there and if you've ever been to a shop like that, that's what this reminds me of. It's super warm and cozy and homey smelling. You definitely get the beeswax. You definitely get these warm spices, but there is also this brightness to it from the pomegranate and the citrus. It keeps it very light and bright. You get the warmth of the cloves as well. Oh my gosh, so beautiful. Just, these are from like a different time, totally. These are amazing. I mean, so good. So anyways, that one is called Honey. And those are all of the signature scents. Um, now, we're gonna go through, actually, let's talk about this one. This is the Pangolin, um, yeah, this is, and this was awesome because she sent, she sent a little uh, solid perfume. Oh my gosh, this one is so good. I just wore some of the solid perfume the other day. In fact, I saw it sitting here and I was like, I wanna put some of that on because it's so good. So it says, the Egyptian violet leaf and Persian rose auto in pangolin violet rose are as precious as the insect eating mammal this scent is named after. Pangolin violet rose opens with candied violets and evolves into a luxurious bouquet of roses dust with powdery orris absolute and rests in a base of 20 year aged Tahitian vanilla bean tinctured organic alcohol. This perfume is beautiful. I'm going to put some of the perfume on and then I'm going to layer just a little bit of the solid perfume over it. Oh my gosh, and the solid perfume is so beautiful. It's like 
this beautiful creamy, I think it's jojoba oil or coconut oil or something. Oh my gosh, this is so good, you guys. This is so, this again, it's so vintage style. Oh man. Everything smells so pure because there's nothing synthetic in them. It's a warm violet and then with the orris root and this one is not sweet. So it's not that typical sweet candied violet scent. It's got a greenness to it because it's got violet leaf in it as well. So you get the whole, you get the violet and the green leaf. And then this slight kind of earthy powdery orris. It's super, super warm. This one is definitely pretty vintage smelling, but like in the best way possible. I don't get much of the rose, but I do get like a touch of it in the background. It's, you get the brightness from the rose really. Oh, it's so beautiful. So anyways, that is the Pangolin Violet Rose. So beautiful. In fact, I'm gonna put this little card in with that. Okay. And then finally we are to the, I forgot I have a little 20% off discount. I wonder if it still works, <laughs> it's been so long. Okay, this is the Kittylicious, um, the Kittylicious collection. And these are so cute. Okay, so let's just grab one. So the first one we have here is Jasmine Orange Blossom. And this is, it says, wrap yourself in a perfect blend of sweetness and sensuality with the sumptuous blend of French orange blossom and narcotic night blooming jasmine. Oh my gosh. That is, that is the most realistic fresh orange blossom I think I've ever smelled. There is nothing synthetic about that. That smells like you took like you literally picked orange blossoms, crushed them up, and made a perfume out of them. Gosh, and then you get the perfuminess of the night blooming jasmine. It's amazing. I forget how much I loved this one. I remember loving that one so much. So that is jasmine orange blossom. In fact, that's the one that I feel like I need to put to the side and pick up. It is like the perfect hot weather fragrance because it still has a lot of body to it. It's um, my kind of perfume, which I like heavier things, even in the summertime. I like something that's really really fragrant and cozy and has a little bit of a heaviness to it and that one fits the bill perfectly okay next we have got mojito cologne uh mojito is spearmint dark rum and tantalizing tahitian vanilla mojito captures the swagger of a night out with this delicious eau de parfum Lori combined essences of dark rum, spearmint, and Mexican lime to make a sexy, invigorating scent that is equally mouthwatering on men and women so this is a unisex perfume. Oh man, you guys. <laughs> it's so good. It's like you can smell everything. You immediately, you smell the lime and the spearmint and the rum. And that's exactly what it smells like. It's like a boozy mint and lime fragrance. It smells like a mojito. It's amazing. It would smell amazing on a man or a woman too. I mean, it would just, it's a, an amazing perfume and it is perfect for this time of year. Um, so anyways, that one is called Mojito Cologne. Next, we have got Rose and Sens. I remember really loving this one too. Gosh, she's got other perfumes on here too since the last I looked. Oh, she makes bath salts too. You can get gift sets. Rose and Sens is rose, citrus, and, and resin essences dance in perfect harmony. Sensuous and warm, Rose and Sens open with, opens with a deep, rich scent of rose that mingles with sweet, tart Italian blood orange and Mexican lime top notes. The mystery of sacred frankincense resin emerges as time passes. So it's got labdanum, frankincense, sandalwood, rose geranium, rose edward, black currant bud, and lime. I remember loving this one. I mean, I've loved them all though. <laughs> you get the lime immediately it is like this burst of fresh juicy lime this is one that you really need to put on your skin to experience it um it's really difficult to get you just get this really you get the citruses the most just smelling it out of the dabber oh man again you get that really bright juicy lime but on your skin you get that kind of dusty geranium you can smell that 
familiar black currants, but this is all about the lime and the beautiful warm dusty geranium. It's beautiful. It's like fresh and warm smelling at the same time. It's good. So anyways, that one is called Rose and Sins. Next we have got this one. This is called the Black Cat. So Black Cat, it says uh, mystery and enchantment are in the air. Beguiling little black cat will cast a spell on you with a bewitching blend of mouth-watering cocoa, sensuous elanuling, juicy blood orange, and a trick-or-treat hint of sweet, surprising aniseed myrtle. Like fun, sexy, sophisticated candy, this st scent stays fascinating all the way to the alluring dry down of Tahitian vanilla infused organic jojoba oil. Yeah, this is an oil in here too. Oh my gosh. This one is amazing. I think that this one ended up being my favorite of everything because this smells like a chocolate orange. It smells like a juicy, yummy chocolate orange. It's so good. It's, this is a true gourmand. This is like, it smells very edible. It's sweet. It's bright and citrusy, but with this beautiful, powdery cocoa note. Oh, it's so good. So that one is called Black Cat. I think that one was my favorite of everything just because I'm such a gourmand junkie. I just love anything that smells like something to eat. Okay, next we have got Rose Jasmine. Timeless and serene, this classic eau de parfum blooms on the skin with gorgeous rose and sultry jasmine to create a scent that is calming and uplifting at the same time. Made for the heart and spirit, Rose Jasmine is the embodiment of inner beauty. It's rose and jasmine. In this one, I can smell the jasmine just a little bit more than the rose. This one's a little bit more jasmine forward. I'm gonna have like every single one of these on me when we're done. That's okay though. Yeah, this one's just a little bit more jasmine forward. It's beautiful. It's fresh. It's super fresh, but very, very warm smelling. That's what I love about all of these perfumes. They're all incredibly warm smelling. As it dries down on my skin, the rose starts to peek out a little bit more. Oh, it's this beautiful blend of rose and jasmine though. And it's very warm. And it's floral without smelling too floral and it's not sweet. It's just incredibly warm and beautiful. So anyways, that one is called Rose Jasmine. And then last but not least, we have got this one here. I think it's called Easy. <laughs> easy or Ease, it's just Easy E. It says, I created Ease, so I'm just gonna say Ease. She said, I created Ease to be the quintessential scent of the, Medi of the Mediterranean as soft and relaxing as a summer breeze. Named after a magical perfume village perched along the French Riviera, Ease opens with a refreshing pop of lemon and unveils a gentle bouquet of lavender, rose geranium, myrtle, and jasmine. This, per this perfume finishes in the amber, healing in the amber healing warmth of labdanum rock rose. So scent notes are labdanum, frankincense, sandalwood, vanilla, rose Edward, rose geranium, jasmine, lemon myrtle, and lime. Oh man, I forgot how beautiful this one is. Oh my gosh, this one is incredible. Um, oh, this one is really, really aromatic smelling, juicy, citrusy. It's got this really beautiful, like aromatic green. It's amazing. It's very, very slightly sweet. This would smell incredible on anybody. I love perfumes like this because I'm gonna put this over here with Black Cat because this is amazing. This is so fresh and realistic smelling. I've never smelled anything like this. The only, I, that's the only way I can really describe it. It's this aromatic, citrusy, green fragrance that smells like nothing I've ever smelled before. It's amazing. It's gotta be that myrtle that's giving it that like aromatic quality to it. It's amazing. So anyways, that one is called Ease. So anyways guys, oh my gosh, I'm so glad that I finally sat down and refilmed this video and was able to share this incredible gem of a house with you. Um, I never hear anybody talk about this house and I was so glad that I came across them on Fragrantica and I ordered and yeah, and now I'm so happy to have shared them with you. Definitely check out her website if you guys are interested in any of these. If you're like me and you love kind of vintage leaning 
perfumes or you want something really, really natural, very clean, definitely cruelty free, um, this is your house. These are amazing. They are a little bit pricey, but the materials that she uses are like second to none. You can tell. I mean, you can tell in everything you put your nose on just how amazing everything is. But anyways, guys, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to see if my little 20% off coupon still works on one of these. And yeah, let me know if you guys end up looking and you know, if anything catches your eye, I would love to know if any of these sound interesting to you. But anyways, I do hope that you all enjoy this. If you did, don't forget to give it a big thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe before you leave, and I will see you in my next one. Bye.